Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can convert this image to black and white and add a toning effect in Lightroom Web. Of course, just like editing in Lightroom CC on the desktop or in Lightroom Mobile, all of the edits that we make in Lightroom Web are non-destructive and all changes can be synchronized to Lightroom on the desktop and across your mobile devices. So in order to edit this, I'll tap the D key in order to access the Adjust Edit Stack. And I'm going to change the treatment here to black and white. Then under Color in Black and White, we can see that Lightroom's made an auto black and white conversion, but I can move any of these sliders in order to control the way that a color range is converted to grayscale. So with an image like this, I'm going to brighten up the oranges to lighten up all of the foreground area here. I'm also going to increase the yellow slider. That'll just brighten up these flowers. Then I'll darken down the green. Now that's going to darken down this lower area. It does have some effect on the flowers, but I'm okay with that. And then I will lower the aqua and the blue and the purples, making them all darker so that I get a really nice dark sky that's going to give me contrast with the foreground element. Now, if I wanted to add some color back into this image, I can do so using the split toning. I can add color to my shadows, to my highlights, or to both. Let's go for a cross process effect where I add color to both the shadows and the highlights. In this case, I'm going to change the hue in the shadows towards blue and just dial in a little bit of saturation. That might be a bit too much, but I can come back to it. Then I'll also change the hue for the highlights and again dial in some color. That looks like it's a little bit too orange, not enough yellow, so maybe I like that better. Then we can change the way that the cross-processing mixes by changing the balance slider. So moving it to the left here means I'm going to get a lot more blue, not as much yellow. Moving it to the right is the opposite. I'll get a lot more yellow. Now for this image, I'm not sure that this looks really great. So let's just double click the saturation to reset the highlight so there's no color there. And I'm going to go with a more traditional, more sepia tone looking image maybe a little bit redder than usual, but right now there's far too much color in my midtones, so I'll use the balance slider, moving it over to the right so that all of the color that I'm adding is constrained to the darker areas of my image. When I'm done, I'll click Save and Exit, and you can see it's just that easy to create a custom conversion from color to black and white in Lightroom Web. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.